Have you wondered how your digestive system works? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy demonstration that you can do at home to show you exactly what's happening in your digestive system. So come with me and let's see what happens. So these are all the ingredients that you need to make your digestive system demonstration. So just quickly, let's have a look at what our digestive system looks like in a diagram. We have our digestive system starting with our mouth, with our teeth and our esophagus going down into our stomach. Then it goes into the small intestines, then the large intestines, and then finally at your bottom or your rectum. Okay, so now we know what happens to our food when we look at a diagram of the digestive system, but what does that actually look like in real life? So let's make the demonstration. First off, we're going to need our bowl, and I've got it in a tray so that it doesn't get messy. This is going to be our mouth. So our mouth is where all our food goes, so we need some food. Now the first thing that happens in our mouth is our teeth called our incisors, the front ones. They're the ones that rip up the food or take our bites. So my scissors are going to be my incisors. And just be very careful with scissors if you're using them yourself so you don't cut yourself. So we're going to chop up our food just like it's chopped up in our mouth. Then we're going to take some of this banana. So let's chop our banana just like our teeth do. And then we have our food in our mouth. So what happens to our food once it's in our mouth? Well we need to add some saliva. There's saliva that's in your mouth and that is like a, a liquid. So we're gonna use a pipette. We're gonna take some water and this is going to show our salivary glands and how they moisten some of our food once we start to eat. Then what do we do? Well, we often have a drink when we're eating our food. So we're going to take some of our water here and we're gonna add that to our bowl, which is our mouth. So now our mouth has some drink and some food in there. Then what happens? Well, most of us will chew our food. And for that, we need some molars, which are your back big teeth. And these cups are going to show what your molars do. So you put your hands in the cups, so you need quite big ones if you're an adult. And we're gonna mush, mush, mush our food up. So let's mush, mush, mush just like your teeth do in your mouth and make it all nice and squidgy, squelchy. This is a very good sensory activity. So we need to really smush them up because if we don't chew our food, we can choke. So we don't want that. All right, that looks pretty well mushed up. After a nice long chew, doesn't that look lovely? Then what happens? Well, our food goes down to our stomach and our Ziploc bag is going to act as our stomach. Now, inside our stomach, we have stomach acid. For the acid today, we are going to just use some normal vinegar. So I'm going to pour some vinegar into our stomach and that is going to be our stomach acid. The next thing we need to do is get our food from our mouth into our stomach via our esophagus. So this is our esophagus or our food tube and that's at the back of our throat. And we also need a tongue. So our tongue is what gets our food down the back of our throat. So we need to grab some food, put our esophagus down to our tummy and use the spoon to push the food down to our stomach. So we're getting our food pushing it to the back of our throat, down our esophagus, and down into our stomach. Now the easy way is to, once you've gotten the idea, is we can just pour the rest down into our stomach like this. That's all our chewed up food down to our stomach. We don't need the bowl anymore. I'm gonna put this back in the tray. So that is our stomach contents. Now we need to seal the bag. 
try and get some of the air out so it's just the liquid. In our stomach, all of your food mushes together like this. And that, with the stomach acid, helps to break down your food. So we mush, 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 churning it all up so that it becomes one big soup. Smush, smush, smush. All right, I'm thinking for now that looks like a pretty good soup, don't you think? Our lovely stomach contents. Now for the fun part. We need our small intestine. So our small intestine is just a simple stocking and I'm going to, you can chop the end or you can just tie it off, which is what I'm going to do. Then we need to get our stomach contents and snip a hole on one side. And then we need to get our stomach contents into our small intestines. It's a bit tricky with only one person. It's much easier when you've got more than one person. So we are going to pour our stomach contents into our small intestine. Let's see what happens. This is quite messy, so that's why you need the tray. All right. And there goes some of our food. There goes some more. And some more. Push the food down. So it's going from our stomach into our small intestines. So our food is now in our small intestines. You can push it down along our small intestines all the way down. Now you can see that there's a lot of liquid and that's coming out. So that's why you need a tray. All right, so what happens to our nutrients that is in, that's in all of this food? So our body needs that. So we need to get that from our small intestines into our bloodstream. Now it's, I've run out of red food coloring, so I'm just using this one to demonstrate. So this cup is now our bloodstream. Our small intestines take the nutrients from our small intestines and they send it to our bloodstream. So if we dunk our food in here, you can see small particles coming out and getting released into our bloodstream. Now I'm not sure if that's going to show up in the video, but we'll see. So our nutrients are getting released into our bloodstream. All right, so once that's taken place, our food travels down to our large intestines. And our large intestines are where all of the water is reabsorbed or recycled into the rest of our body. So we need to squeeze out all of the liquid and all of this water will be recycled back into our body. Now our large intestines can take out up to 10 cupfuls of water. So that's how much your body can hold at any one time. That's a lot of water. All right, so we have extracted all of our nutrients. We have extracted all of the excess water from our nutrients or our food. And our final step, which I wonder if you can guess, I think most of us know what our final step is. So this is now classed as waste. We don't need this anymore. So that is excreted in the form of feces or your poo. So our poo comes out through our rectum, which is your bottom. And that is all the stuff that our body doesn't need anymore. I hope you found this video helpful and it gave you a really good demonstration of what our digestive system looks like on the inside. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more science demonstrations just like this one. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.